As requested by my family and friends, this is a video tour of my apartment in Incheon, South Korea. So here we go. Okay, this is my front door. And when you enter all apartments in South Korea, you have this little area, which is where you have to take your shoes off. I mean, you don't have to take them off in my apartment. I will kindly let you walk in with your shoes on, but it's customary to take your shoes off. There's also a sensor light up there, so it will come on when I walk into here, so I get to see what I get to do. There's quite a lot of storage in this area, so that's the door I've just come through. And this side is the shoe cupboard. So I think down there is where you would most likely put umbrellas and such because it does rain a lot. We are in August and we're coming into the raining season so I'm going to have to buy myself one. And then the rest of the shelves are filled with my shoes and flip flops and trainers and all that good stuff. Next to it is another cupboard full of many shelves which I have dedicated to my hats and scarves. Um, it's looking very pathetic at the moment but I'm sure my hat collection is going to improve. On the opposite side there's another big cupboard which has got some bedding in and there's a there's like a brush and dustpan down there. There's a couple of my jumpers and a couple of shirts. This is just where I threw some things in for when I first arrived. I've been here for a week now, so I'm kind of getting used to it. Um, a little bit further down this way is another cupboard, which has my shirts hanging up with hangers I had to buy myself. And down this way, you have belts and ties and there's some drawers. As t-shirts, that's pyjama bottoms, and this one is trousers and jeans and such, so that's another cupboard. And then next to that one is another cupboard, where I've got a couple of jackets, a rain jacket and a winter jacket, which I didn't need to bring, <laughs> but I did anyway. And there are, there are my suitcases. So that's the main sort of hallway area. The first door you come to when you come through the door is the president room, which is in fact the bathroom. There's me. Hello. So, quite a good bathroom for a South Korean apartment. I have a western toilet, a sink, and I actually have a shower cubicle, so I have a door here. A lot of Korean apartments don't have the actual cubicle, the shower, the actual bathroom is the shower room, so everything would get wet. Um, but yes, this is a, this is quite nice to have. Okay, so, out of the bathroom. And there's one more cupboard here, which is in fact the fridge, which has milk, water, some really disgusting orange juice. This is, this is vile, I'm going to have to throw this away. Have you, can you see that? Oh, it's just disgusting. And I bought some plums the other day. I like my plums. So that's the fridge. And this one down here is the freezer which has nothing in because I haven't bought any food. Okay, so that's sort of the main hallway. And then when you come into the main area of the room, on your right is the kitchen area. This apartment is actually known as an office town, so people who live in South Korea will know what that means. Um, I, with my office till I get a washing machine and a dryer. Not many places 
will you get a dryer, but this one is a tumble dryer as well as a washing machine. I've got some clothes going in there. I actually figured out how to do all this. It's all in Korean, but I managed to figure it out. Apparently using the dryer is very expensive, so I'm not really going to do that. Um, sort of standard fare, you've got some, got a, quite a big sink here, um, the tap, you can have a spray or you can have it shoot out in one go and it can actually detach in thing which is always very handy. Um, that's a radio, I haven't ever used it, I just use it to know what the time is. Um, couple of other shells, some nutritious uh, food here, we've got brownies and Doritos. The things that are keeping me going right now, hold your vitamins and vitamin C, definitely bring some vitamin C. If you're going to work, be working as a teacher and working with young children, bring some vitamin C, you're going to need it. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of cupboards down there, a couple of drawers, nothing of interest. Oh, yes. Just a burner, that's all I have here. I don't have an oven and I don't have a microwave, so I haven't really done much cooking. I have a, a kettle there and I bought a bag of Thai food tea bags. If you're from England, you know how much that means to us. Um, so, yeah, and to turn the burner on, you have to use, you turn this and then you can turn it on there. But I haven't actually ever cooked on it yet because I don't really cook. So you come so that's the hallway, the bathroom, the kitchen, and then you sort of turn around into the main living area. Wait, it's an it's, it's nice it's a nice size. I mean my bed is bigger than a single um and uh, but smaller than a double. I've got a couple of drawers underneath more storage and I obviously I have this sofa which really is quite uncomfortable but a lot of other teachers don't have a sofa so I can't complain too much now the sofa is actually blocking a lot more storage areas <laughs> so I've got a few more areas here that I can put my deodorants which are essential bring deodorants if you're coming to South Korea and just like my camera stuff and other electronics. Um, these are sort of my good luck cards that my family and friends gave to me before I left. So I thought I should bring them up. Air conditioning unit, very important, especially in this month, it's so hot. And you may have seen it already, but this is my view out of the window, which Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. The only problem is the traffic down there is constant all through the night, and these windows aren't soundproof. So I had to buy some earplugs because I wasn't getting much sleep in my first few days. So, yes. Okay, well, that was my rather uninteresting tour of my apartment. One, oh, oh yeah, this is another thing. This is a video call. So if anyone rings my doorbell, I can see on the screen who they are. And this is for the hot water and heated floor, but I'm not going to be using it for the heated floor because I'm only in this apartment until the end of September. And then I'm getting moved to a new apartment that's closer to my school because at the moment I'm about a 30 to 40 minute bus ride away. So um, I'm not going to get too used to this place because I'm pretty sure my new apartment is going to be a lot smaller. Okay, well, if you stayed long enough to the end, then congratulations and I shall see you soon.